guys had to put away my review. Uh, here comes Summer Sla Survivor Series 1996 review. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the finally we have a freaking good Survivor Series. It takes uh, nine shows to <laughs> to get a good Survivor Series. So. Doug Furness and Phil LaFon, Henry Godwin and Phineas Godwin defeat Owen Hart, British Bulldog, Marty Jannetty, and Leaf Cassidy, a.k.a. Al Snow. And this is what I gotta say to that. Really? Really? You're gonna have... You're gonna have Doug Furness, Phil LaFon survive against Owen Hart and British Bulldog. Uh, that doesn't really add up. I think it was just because they just brought these guys in and uh, they wanted to use them. It's, it didn't really work out. But these guys, I love these guys. I mean, they shoot some awesome moves in this match. I watched this show like a year ago, so I don't really remember what happened. I do remember what I rated the matches, though. Yeah, I give this match three and a half stars. Good opening match. Undertaker defeat Mankind. This is where uh, Paul Bearer was hung up, hung above the uh, ring. Not hung, but like he was in a cage above the ring. I thought it was cool to see him up there. Match is pretty good. It wasn't that anything special. They were just bringing in Mankind at this time, so they really wanted to get his character across to the audience. So, yeah. Two and three quarters. Undertaker wins. Wish it would have went a little longer. It, only, it was only like 9 minutes or 10 minutes. Uh, this is Rocky Maivia's debut, and he survived. And his team was Mark Merrill himself, Jake the Snake Roberts, comes back in this one. Was this his last match? I think Jake Roberts was always disappointed in how he looked in his last match. I'm pretty sure this was his last match. I'm not sure, though. And the Stalker, who I don't remember at all. They defeated Crush, Jerry, Lawler, Triple H, and Goldust. See, here I'll show you something cool. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, hold on a second. to watch I used to pop this tape in like every day when I was little see this tape now currently has a bunch of raw and smackdowns on it from 2001 and 2002 but before that it used to be Survivor Series 96 as you see it's crossed out and then after that it used to be Royal Rumble 2002 then after that they taped over that for Raws from 2002 and Smackdowns from early 2002. This stuff, this has a lot of build up. This has like every Raw, like two Raws actually and Smackdowns before uh, No Way Out 2002. And I actually have No Way Out 2002 on tape, but the tape broke because I left it in the VCR one time. And then it was all, I put, put it in, it was all like weird, the picture. And the announcer's voices were like higher <laughs> pitched. It was weird. So yeah, it doesn't really work. That's a shame, but at least it got the network. But yeah, this is pretty cool, this uh, stuff right here. So yeah. So I give this Rocky Maya via match two stars. It was a four and four elimination. Bret Hart defeats Stone Cold. Uh, I always like seeing people freak out over these matches. <laughs> Like they're like they're like the best. Uh, I really don't see it. I I see a really damn good match, but I don't see what people are looking at. Like this is the best match of all time, or the WrestleMania 13 match was like really nigga. Like seriously, but uh, this is still a really good match. Bret Hart wins. 
I think he, like, he, Stone Cold was, like, put him in, like, the money, whatever it's called, the Ted DiBiase's finisher, then, uh, uh, Bret Hart runs in the corner, and he jumps up, rolls Stone Cold up, and wins. Four and a half stars. Uh, Farouk, Vader, Razor Ramon, Razor Ramon, Diesel, 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 they weren't really Razor Ramon or Diesel. I, I really don't get why they brought these guys in as a Razor Ramon and Diesel. What was the point? Like, you think your audience is that stupid, they're not going to recognize who it is? Maybe they just want to uh, make fools of them, but whatever. Flash Funk, oh, he defeated, wait, no. There was no contest at the end. Versus Flash Funk, Jimmy, Snuka, Savio, Vega, and Yoko Zuma. There was really uh, no contest. So, he had a match two stars. Didn't really enjoy that that much. But the main events. Uh, Psycho Sid beat Shawn Michaels for the WWF title. And I'm just going to say this. I hate Psycho Sid. He's fucking trash. I don't get how anybody can like him. Every match he had is boring, but this is an exception. This wasn't that good, but it was good still. I give it like three stars, maybe three and a quarter, but I'll just give it three stars. I don't really think it deserves three and a quarter. But of course, he's going to get it like a better rating than usually because he's working with the show stopper. So, yeah. I give the match three stars. Pay per view gets a three, a three, seven point five out of ten. See you guys later. Peace out. My ninety seven and ninety eight Survivor Series reviews are coming up tomorrow. Peace out.